a little bit since we've played this. Treasure Flare, for those not familiar, is a 55 land deck where most of your lands have cycling. And the basic idea is that you mulligan for treasure hunt in your opening hand, and then you use treasure hunt into treasure hunt, and you overfill your hand with a bunch of lands, and then you discard a bunch of them to hand size, putting a bunch of cycling cards in your bin, and then you cast Zenith Flare eventually to kill them. This deck is actually resilient to removal, or to, count, to counter spells, because you play four Mystic Sanctuaries and a bunch of islands... So that way, if they counterspell your Zenith Flare, you just keep the Mystic Sanctuaries in your hand and get to recast your Zenith Flares. Your absolute worst matchup is the Magic the Gathering Arena interface, which makes it very difficult to discard 30 cards at once to hand size. If you haven't seen this deck before, this is one of the many historic decks up on my website. It's one of the handful in the meme section. It's very funny. So let's jump on into some games. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to point out the sideboard. The sideboard is also hilarious. So against Thoughtseize decks, you can put four Nullhide Ferox in your deck, and then you just mulligan to Nullhide Ferox, and they Thoughtseize you on one, and they have to take your Nullhide Ferox, and you put a 6-6 six, six to play, and you attack them to death with it. So hopefully we'll get to do that at some point this set too. It's always hilarious when that happens. Let's go. Let's go play some Magic. Punishing Waterfalls, thank you for the almost four years. 46 months is a long time, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, the Thoughtseize puts them to 18 and the Ferox kills them in three. Uh, you wanna keep islands and land, lands that let you cast your Zenith Flare. Easy, easy keep. I mean, technically, this is a just guy mirror match chip. This is the reading treasure hunt long pause. The wheels, the wheels are turning right now. This deck has, isn't popular, so like, I'd be surprised, wouldn't be surprised if they haven't seen it before. Look at that, chat. We got six cards in hand. We will get into two this game. Is it okay to cut lands when we sideboard? It is. Yeah, you'll see us cut lands when we sideboard. Our sideboard's super hilarious. In addition to the Nullhide Ferox plan, we also just, like, board into Shifting Ceratopses and stuff. What's the blink ball for in sideboarding when you're pivoting into a beatdown deck? That's our that's our plan against graveyard hate. Because our our combo doesn't work if they exile our graveyard. So rest in rest in peace uh, against us. All right, so we're gonna put a stop here. We're gonna cast treasure hunt again. There's the Zenith Flare. We're gonna prioritize keeping one mana cycling lands, 
mystic sanctuaries and the non non cycle lands and the and the zenith flare obviously so i'm gonna put all the cards i want to keep on the left side of my hand and then we'll start here we have to discard 14 cards so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14. You don't, don't try and play this deck on mobile chat. You won't have a good time. I think we want to cast another treasure flare. Or another, another treasure hunt. Sorry, this is only doing 14 at the moment. So the problem with the creature lands is that um, what's the word search for? The problem with the creature lands is that, um, you, oh God, I wonder if they're going to memory us. It resets our, it resets our thing. That's kind of funny if they do. The problem with creature lands is that they're not islands for Mystic Sanctuary. Arena, Arena puts the number on Zena Flare, which is nice. Jarbe says Keep up the pace The very aggressive 4-4 four, four on 4 is a great play from this opponent. Yeah, we are dead to another counter spell. They had, they had an aggressive start. So, if our opponent hadn't had the aggressive start there, we could have powered through that with uh, with the Mystic Sanctuaries. Unfortunately, they did. I'm going to sideboard for this game. Because what will happen in the postboard games a lot of the time is they will... They will board into a bunch of counter spells. Just keep a grip full of counter spells. Just be like, okay, here's a shifting ceratops. Kill you. What's Blink Moth Nexus for? Attacking. Wife back. We're just we're just boarding in a bunch of cards that attack yet. Honestly, you probably leave this in, right? Because it gets us it gets us some of these.
Did I board out too many lands yet? We're down to 47. Here, we are down to 47 lands. Yeah, but like treasure hunt giving away the game doesn't really matter, right? Because like, what are they, what are they gonna do? Like, they can't change how they've sideboarded. Oh yeah, that's a good call. The irrigated farmlands are better than fetid because of the Kira. Good shout. How, how would you find that card, Elliot? Like, you, any spell you put into your deck, you're gonna treasure hunt into and then not be able to do anything. Yeah, I know third green is, is a bit sad for Ceratops. Like, the real question is, are there copies of Wrath of God in their deck post-board? Probably not, right? And there might be copies of Wrath of God in their deck for game three. Well, you, you don't, you're not milling. You're not milling cards, Elliot. You, you only treasure hunt until you find a spell. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to board back into the, the main deck plan for game three. Well, I can't Chandra with Null Hide in play, so we hit the we hit the third untapped green, so I can Ceratops with haste next turn. Right on schedule. You know what? I'm not done. Yeah, this is one of those decks, Elliot, that like has really wonky deck building restrictions. I'm gonna kill their Tefri here. This might be wrong with the Chandra. Let me know if you're up for round two. I love me, I love me a good sideboard juke, chat. The old, the old sideboard juke is one of my favorites. And now, now we just go back to what we were doing in the first game. Just literally on sideboarding. This, this is one of those decks where if you were playing this in paper, you put all 15 cards and shuffle them back in between each game, even if you're not changing plans. 
Should we keep the blink bot for game three? Maybe? That's an interesting thought. I can see that being correct. That's actually pretty unlucky. We didn't actually draw that many. If you wish to surrender, keep an open mind. We're mobile ready, chat. God, I had 37 fucking selected and it discarded at random. Why the fuck would you discard at random when I had 37 selected and just hadn't clicked submit? What kind of fucking interface design is that? Like, I understand that the timer has to end at the hit at the end, but like it said submit 37 and I just hadn't clicked submit 37 yet. Holy shit. What a trash piece of software. This game sucks. Let's play again. <laughs> uh. We've talked about this before. The actual thing that should happen there. People say, well, why doesn't it just pop out? At the end of your turn, if you have to discard more than seven cards, so if you have to discard eight plus cards, instead, the interface should tell you, hey, pick seven cards to keep. That's that's what it should do. If you're discarding more than seven cards, it should always have you click on the least amount of cards and it should say, hey, pick seven to keep. It's a, it's a very clean interface interaction. Wouldn't need to change, just, just flip it when you're discarding more than seven cards. Yeah, if I could also draw a box over all these cards on the right here after I organize my hand, that would work too. Also, for those for those of you in you in chat, um this interface actually used to be worse. They, they actually improved 
the end of turn discarding the hand size interface. It used to, it used to be much worse, my children. Oh, oh yeah, and then there's this. I thought they fit, look at this. I drag this over and it moves the other cards. I've dragged this, could someone like clip this? How many times have I dragged, how many times did I just drag Mystic Sanctuary to the left there? Trying to organize my hand. Too many? It was like shuffling them back over into the middle. That hadn't happened yet today. I thought I thought they fixed that bug. I almost mentioned that they fixed it, but that I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't, because it's definitely still there. This card 13. Alright. I kept all the cards I wanted to keep this time. You wanna keep Mystic Sanctuaries? One mana blue cyclers, and then enough to have three islands to enable the mystic sanctuaries. Is what ideally you're trying to keep along with the spell that you have. Oh, yikes. Ha. Huh. Oh, I guess, I guess this is fine, right? So we just like put this into play tapped and then next turn we'll shock Zenith player them for 12 and then we'll Mystic Sanctuary get it back, cycle, do it again. So we'll kill them, we'll kill them, we'll kill them on five. Well, yeah, and then, like, the other thing is, too, the fact that it chose to discard at random instead of discarding the ones I had clicked on, like, why wouldn't you, like, let's say in that last game, I'd only selected, let's say I'd only selected 35 cards instead of 37. Why wouldn't you discard the 35 cards I had clicked on and then choose the last two at random? At a, at a minimum with the current interface, that's what should happen, right? So they're dead next turn. We get to dome them for 12. We get to Mystic Sanctuary, put this on top, cycle this, redraw, dome them for 13. So they have, to, they have to deal 26 to us this turn, which isn't impossible with Muxus. Muxus could kill us. Am I dead yet? Hit me, dealer. They have one brick on top. Ding. I actually would be opposed to removing turn timers from best of three. I think the individual turn timers are one of the large improvements to Magic Arena over Magic Online. I think I would be fine with the argument they could be a little bit longer in instances like that last one where I need a little bit more time and I'm actually taking game actions. But I think in, in general, the individual turn timers are good.
See, chat, this is why people don't play goblins anymore. Get, you get memed on. So, neither of my sideboard jukes are good here. So I think we just click submit and hope they're not on Leyline of the Void or Thoughtseize. They do, they do have a black splash. We get Thoughtseize post board here. And maybe, maybe if they mulligan aggressively for Thoughtseize, we do null hide Ferox them in the next game. We'll see though. They have a lot of blockers, which makes null hide a lot less appealing. Mystic Sanctuary needs to be banned in Historic too. Zenith Flare is terrorizing the ladder. Please, please ban. <laughs> well, thanks for taking the time to manually drop that off, Cryogen. I appreciate the support. Baron, thanks for the third of the year. Welcome back. Cause it's a sneaker keeper gonna hunt for treasure. Flare da da do da da be do 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 I don't think this plan is good here, but it's be it's better than conceding at at the start. So, pivot, pivot. If they mulligan aggressively for Leyline because we just outright conceded like that, we could beat, you know, a four or five weak six card hand with our with our creature beat down. So the hope is they just don't have Leyline with a good hand and they keep a mediocre hand on the back of their the back of their card. Yeah, why why are they sideboarding for so long? Checking out the stream so they know they they know they don't need to. Maybe worth a Jace in the sideboard. That's cute. That's kinda, now nah, that's probably not good. You have to have the Jace like the very bottom card of your deck, basically. Or it has to be the last spell in your deck. Like kept seven, we'll see if it's a good seven. Narrator, it was a good seven. They don't have a second land. They just kept like one land ley line. That's. That was the worst opt I've ever seen. It did, it did cost twice as more as regular opt. A 
All right, this is a uh, this is a lot of thick friends, chat. They do they do all get bigger from from the orphan guard. A deck's full of orphans, chat. Yes, Sanctuary was largely banned because of Cryptic Command in Modern. And and because it has an island subtype, so it's fetchable. The easiest way you can know that the deck that we're playing is busted chat is because one of our key cards is from Eldraine. It does need to meet its still double pope, yes. Well, there's a Muxus. No, Mystic Sanctuary is an Eldrain card. Mystic, Mystic Sanctuary is a large part of what makes this deck be able to play through interaction. You mean like favoritism in terms of getting random gift subs on a channel, bub? Could be. They could also just be like a streamer that has a high sub gift density and not a lot of viewers. There's definitely a number of those that exist. What's their, what's their average viewer count like? Yeah, yeah, give gifts to people who watch more or have recently watched. Father Goes Gaming, thanks for the two thirds of a year. Welcome back. Thanks for the follow, Cloofy. So this makes some friends, but these eventually trample. Honestly, if we hit an untapped land next turn, I think I'm gonna draw Orphan Guard and play it because it gives she gives vigilance. Oh, they do have Muxes. Okay. And it's been a while since I've experienced this. Told you, I told you our our sideboard plan was gonna be very good here. Our sideboard jukes are mostly for mid range and control X. I started playing Modern for Team of Wreck because it got banned everywhere else, and then they banned Uro Field and Sanctuary. Rip. Rip. Hey, thanks for two thirds of a year, Kuzaloo. Welcome back. Spade to nearly every format. Yeah. Just racking them up. Playing decks like this treasure flare deck are almost therapeutic in a way. Because it's, it's very methodical and straightforward, like, what you're doing and what you're looking for every game. It's just, like, very chill to just, like, know what, know what you're doing. Permutations are relatively straightforward. Hey, Jethrin, thanks for the 25 months. Welcome back. Don't value me. Slivers! Our opponent's a cultured individual, chat.
this might be a game where we need to point a treasure flare at a creature. Sorry, did I did I say a creature? I meant at their face. Oh, I should have kept my my scheduled step, right? My secluded step. We need to draw a one mana cycling card next turn. Are they playing around Settle the Wreckage? All right, we take those. Their, their dojo contains a lot of fear. Oh my God, how are we this unlucky? There were 38 cards in my deck, chat. And this is the fourth treasure hunt. 38 cards and this is the fourth treasure hunt. We're, we're tech. Why didn't they attack? I'll look at Chad again in a second. I just don't want to time out. Hey, thanks for the 20 months, Becker X. I appreciate that. Welcome back. supposed to win that but don't don't play around settle the wreckage yet don't do it magic magic arena is secretly an apm game we needed a w we take those <laughs> that's true that's true we're not on the scoreboard yet, chat. There's games two and three here, okay?
They mulliganed really low, so they must have been looking for some piece of sideboard hate. Wonder if they found it. It kills me, chat, when it moves the cards to the left over to the right. Why? How did the treasure hunt get back over here, chat? How, how did it get back over here, chat? I clearly left it over here. Oh, man, I just, I just want to discard from right to left, chat. It's all, it's all I want to do, okay? I just want to put the cards I'm keeping over here. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine, shit. They mulligan, then they only have two things. Chat, 19 points. Thanks for the follow, Kush. So you get to go fifth land, cycle a sandbar, blast him. Give him a little, a little, little bink bonk. Nuclear launch detected. Anyways, we started blasting. Pink's bonked to the electric boogaloo. Hey, Captain Nemo. Thanks for three quarters of a year. Welcome back. Appreciate the prime. Cause it's a sneeper keeper dee 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 doo doo sneep pa pa keep pa pa be dee 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 Is this the most difficult text you deck on the website? Yeah, definitely, because it's a dexterity based deck. I should have kept a one mana cycler. One of one of these three should be a one mana cycler. No, that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, chip. Uh, 
Uh, we've done some very short sessions with Throws of Chaos. Do we? I don't know that we Ferox in this matchup yet. Because, um, they just have Cat to block it forever, right? This is actually a great draw. Oh no, chat, we need to discard three cards to hand size. One, two, three. It's just 20 Mentry. What could it be? If they have another Thoughtseize, we have, uh, we have this into cycle. Well, I guess I technically don't have the colors to cast this if I play this next turn. Scale, scale of one to dead. What are we working with here, opponent? They've got food, they're at 16. That's going on, Lux. If you refresh your channel page, the sub notification pop back up. Sorry, Twitch ate it being poopy. Did that chat got thought seized and it just doesn't matter? You'll love to see it. All right, we'll bring in the Feroxes for game two and then if they can't get through, we'll board them out for game three, okay? I feel I feel like we should board the Feroxes in on principle. Oh, I guess they can eat two foods, huh? They have, to, they have to eat both foods and then they have less cards to look at. They can get a cat here as well, I suppose. Counting, counting our number of flares here. Chat, I I can't. Oh, I could have drawn a blue one mana cycler. I threw all of those already. It would have had to have been a blue. All right, so any two mana cycling card or blue cycling card kills them here. Chat, for people saying I guaranteed one, look at the colors my lands make. You are wrong. I, could, I couldn't cycle red or white there and still cast the Zenith Flare that turn. I had a bunch of blue lands. Game. 
He counted on them mulliganing for their sideboard card shit, and they're not doing it. Stop it, opponent. Do the thing. Do the thing, opponent. All right, thank you. I appreciate you. For the, for the content, champ. I don't, I don't know that we could beat Cauldron Familiar here though, is the, is the problem. I think, I think Cauldron Familiar Goose beats us, champ. Is the, is the issue here. This be a better best of one deck. Uh, I don't know how our trickery matchup is, so I don't know. I think sideboarding with this deck is fun and we're not playing this deck in any format for the purpose of being competitive. So like, is it better somewhere else? I don't know. Do I care? Do I care if it's better somewhere else? Like if we're worried about things being better and optimal, we'd be doing something else. Stop trying to min-max my meme shit. The trickery matchup might actually not be that bad just because um, a lot of their trickery hits we don't care about, right? Like Ugin doesn't do anything against us. Ulamog, Ulamog's annoying, it exiles our lands. They've got, they've got a few of their hits that are good hits against other things that we just like get to ignore because we're not a deck that cares about playing the board. Yeah, yeah, Ulamog, Ulamog would, would destroy us. Both, both its cast trigger and, um, both its cast trigger and the act of exiling our deck would be bad. We're gonna play plenty of Unite this afternoon, I promise. I am, I am enjoying this. I do, I do enjoy treasure hunting. Why were we dead that game? I'm confused. How was I winning? Better, better question, Wargy. How was I winning that game? Can you explain it to me? What is, what is, what is that game play out looking like that I win? What are the, what are the things that have to happen? Conceding isn't always a question of, am I dead? It's often a question of, are there game actions I can take that let me win? They didn't currently have a way to loop the cat. They did. They had a goose in play. They pay two mana and they get the cat back. The putting the card that I just moved to the left back in the center of my hand might actually be the most tilting thing about the interface. Like, I, I don't understand what is happening that it's doing that. I don't know about you, but I'm discarding 22. All right, one Zenith player left in the deck. <sighs> Listen, chat, I just want you to know that I do know your dirty little secret. A majority of you watch Magic the Gathering content to watch other people suffer. And that's okay, I don't think less of you. 
But I understand why videos like this are often popular. Mutual. Mutual commiseration. I'm not, I'm not kink shaming you. I'm just letting you know that if you think your kink is a secret, it's not a secret. I know what's up. You're into what you're into, chat. I'm not going to judge you, okay? All right, we have successfully interfaced. <laughs> nice Jund food deck opponent. That's why I watched you play tier 25 modern decks for forever. Another one bites the dust, and another one down, and another one down, another one bites the dust. We're at, we're at the bottom. It's the arena's the inverse from Unite. Unite, higher numbers are better. Arena, lower numbers are better. Thalia is actually quite reasonable against us. She slows this down a little bit. I've watched 10 hours of Unite content and I know nothing about the game. I just like to hear you yell Pokemon names like you're one yourself. God bless. Do you know that we win games of Unite by dunking the points in the basket? Because that's really all the game's about. It's about Pokemon dunking points in baskets. It's like Pokemon basketball with violence. Only you can stop Pokemon violence. Hey, well luckily we have two treasure hunts here. Believe it or not, Beansy, Matcherino never responded to my partner application. I, I for one, was shocked that they just outright ignored me. For people that don't keep up with magic news... Crokey's tournament on Matcherino had to be canceled because Matcherino wasn't functional software. Like, the, they just literally couldn't handle the number of people they took in signups. They had to cancel the event the morning of. Like an hour. An hour after the event was supposed to start, they canceled it. Derpenstein. Oh, Twitch usernames. Chat, we're gonna die because we didn't draw a treasure flare. Oh, wait, are we gonna die before then? That's 9, 12? Nah, if, we, if this would have been a treasure flare, we could have won this game. Rats. I guess, I guess we could technically draw a treasure flare off the top here, right? Oh, no, because it costs 5. Yikes. We've been, we've been mono whited. So is Watsy still partnered with them? I have no idea. Hey, well, thanks for shipping over some of Jeff Bezos' money to pop on into chat. If you want to hang out with Hoaglandia 24-7 as well, even when I'm not streaming, the Discord's a great place to do that. 
channels for magic and gaming and politics and food and sports ball and all sorts of great stuff. Yeah, Wizards is using MTG Melee for Worlds, so... Listen, you can have your one card. I'm gonna draw more. Oh no! Oh no! Chat! I think we're dead, fam. Non basic land enter tap, jokes on you. My lands are all tap lands, anyways. We missed the Zenith Flare last game, so the deck obviously felt bad and gave it to you early. It's true. Uh, so six, and then I'm dead next turn. Dahlia's a rude lady, chat. Very rude lady. Archon does turn off Mystic Sanctuary, that's true. Because it always enters tapped, and Sanctuary doesn't trigger unless it enters untapped. Dahlia is such a care, and she does, she certainly wants to speak with your manager. Oops, we mulliganed again. Do 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 do. We found treasure hunt. Oh baby, baby, it's gonna draw us a flare. Do 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 do. He, he, he. Am I am I allowed to do Britney Spears for for song parodies, or is that is that supposed to be outside of my range? Temple of Silence, you say? Wonder if I'm, I wonder if I'm supposed to keep the Zenith Flare there. It's very possible. Oh no. Oh no. They're coming for our memes, chat. Perfect. We could die next turn, chat. Discard 40 cards. All right, good luck on speed chat. I'll see you in a second. Ah!
We did it! We did it! We didn't even use our timeout chat! We did it! Interface? Interfaced. Whew. Nailed it. It's all that Pokemon Unite chat. It's got my APM way up. My logic button has a mouse to side where you hold it with them and increases the DPI movement of the cursor by like 75%. It's sniper mode in FPS games, but it might be useful here as well. <laughs> Listen, chat. Someday my my MX510 is gonna break and I'm gonna be very sad. But until that day, we're gonna keep using my my MX510. It's almost old enough to vote, chat. We've looked this up before. When did this release? Logitech MX 510 early state. 2004. 17 years. Old enough to drive, almost old enough to vote. That mouse is an abomination. Chat, it survived like six moves, like. It's a good, it's a good piece of technology. No, I think they're just gonna turn three combo us, chat. They might, they might just turn three combo us. We're actually gonna play this deck tomorrow. Uh, and a donation to jam some of it. Miss Rider. Seriously? All right, well, I'm definitely boarding back into our combo for game three. My services are not cheap. Yeah, the removal spell post board is something. One, one the match is a strong, a strong Don't statement. Mess with me. Well, they have ley line of sanctity. Details, then T. If your mouse isn't also trying to be a keyboard, that sounds like a lot of complexity.
That's rude. I think we're dead, fam. They didn't they didn't mulligan for any of their hate cards, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pivot back to the game one plan and we'll just concede if they if they have their thing right away. So this will be the game where they have like ley line into thought seas. We'll just pack it up, pack it in. I have side buttons on my mouse. These, these. These two buttons on the side there, chat. Mouse four, mouse five. That's so many buttons. Why does it, why does your mouse have a tail? What? But I like my tail. Card. Eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, chat, we died on turn three. We have been we have been three card combo chip. So if you haven't seen this before, Davriel's withering perpetually makes this Vespal arc smaller, which means it can return itself to play. Which means it dies again immediately and then returns itself to play. And when it does this loop with Meat Hook Massacre out, we lose a life every every time it happens. Yeah, I picked up I picked up the Lisa foil. All right, let's try one more with this before we uh we jump along to some Pokémon Unite. Uh there's a couple of turn 3 combos in Historic, right? There's the Life Gain combo deck too. I think calling Vespalark reasonable to good is a bit of a stretch.
Maybe we'll do two more. <laughs> I actually don't want to put that on the bottom. They're auras. Okay, sweet. I think auras is probably a decent matchup for us. Well, I'll have some counter spells, but this is the third time we've cast treasure hunt today and drawn the top card of our deck. Should happen on occasion. It should not happen three times in an hour. Especially when we, like, already had a spell here. Do we need to play an island in case the next hit is the bottom of our deck? Nah, I'll just be lucky. I just won't be unlucky, question mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, question mark. Oh, we didn't get quite to enough, uh, enough cyclers for lethal there, huh? Only at, only at 15. I guess, I guess we're only through half our deck. Oh no, chat. Lifelink. That is illegal. You need me food? You have time to eat some noodles before yes, your Unite yes, segment? Yes, please. But when do you have to start Unite? Yes. You might not have time. <laughs> Shit, she's, she's trying to start Want me. It? <laughs> she's so she's I would say she's mean, but she brought me lunch kind of before teasing me Love you. Love you too Hot and fresh. You can see the you can see the smoke coming off the noodles, huh? Look at that. That camera's great. Getting a little steamy in here, chat. Okay, so we could theoretically kill them this turn. So we're gonna shock in a land. We'll draw the treasure. We'll draw the zenith flare. We'll cast a treasure hunt. We'll discard. Uh, we'll discard a bunch of cycling cards. Rats.
and they don't have counter spells, we get to survive, and then we can run it back next turn. Yeah, we got, we got, we have, we have another sanctuary. So, the Zenith Flare will float us to another Zenith Flare, basically. I forgot to mute, I apologize. And I was gonna start Pokemon Unite now, but Christy brought me lunch. So that buys us one more match of magic so I can eat while we play. Chat, I'm starting to think our deck might not be very good. <sighs> you take that back. <laughs> it's not our deck that's the problem, it's the ladder that's bad. That's fair. We should, blame, we should blame the ladder instead of ourselves. I like that idea. Thanks for being around, Zerg. I 
All right, let's play Pokemon tonight. <laughs> I felt like, I feel like our do the thing rate was kind of low for that set, which was a little bit sad, but we won one match and we got to kill, we got to kill a few other people along the way. I definitely don't think this deck is good. Uh, it's under the meme category for a reason. It does a kind of unique, funny thing overall, but yeah. I'll be back uh, tomorrow morning with more magic.